In today's quick tip tutorial, we're going to be looking at how you can change the values of parameters for multiple objects all at the same time. And there's two different ways you can do it. A lot of people might be aware of the first way, but the second way I think is a bit less well known. So if we look at the scene, we've got three spotlights and three monkeys. The spotlights have all got different values for the power. So the first one's got one watt, the second one has got 10 watts, and the third has got 100 watts. If I select all three of these monkeys, and I hold the Alt key whilst clicking on the text box, and I change this to 5 and press Enter, all three of these spotlights have now got the value 5, for the, five watts for the power. Let's undo that. Now the second less well-known thing that you can do is change these relative to each other. So this time, with all three selected, if I click on the text box without pressing the Alt key, and now I put in a value of five, and press Alt whilst pressing Enter, and look at all three, you can see we've gone up by the same difference for all three objects. So that will actually change them relative. So I went from one to five, so the difference was four, and then for all the others, we're going to get four added on as well. One thing to bear in mind, though, is that it only works on text boxes or value boxes. You can't actually change it on a color, for example, in that, in that way. What you need to do instead is click on the color and then bring up the text boxes and make the changes inside of there. So, yeah, I hope that's useful. It, it saved me a lot of time when I found out about it because I'd been actually selecting objects one at a time and changing the values that way. Even some studios that I worked for weren't aware of either of those two methods and were manually changing them as well. So it's definitely good to know, and I hope it's useful, and I will see you next time. And if you'd like to learn something pretty incredible and support the channel at the same time, I'm pleased to announce that after months of preparation, I finally managed to make the complex subject of geometry node incredibly easy to learn by creating nearly two hours of video content and example files. You can watch part one for free on my YouTube channel, and then you can grab part two from the website, which is 3d-illusions.co.uk. So, I hope it's useful, and I'll see you next time.